SpaceX showcased an impressive display of dominance as the company set reusability records for its Falcon 9 rocket twice in a single week. In what was undoubtedly a proud moment for founder Elon Musk, two Falcon 9 boosters achieved a milestone of 16 consecutive flights each. Let's talk about these new milestones, the competitors that hope to challenge the Falcon 9, and how SpaceX's innovative approach has kept the rocket ahead of its peers. In an astounding display of ingenuity, SpaceX achieved something truly remarkable twice in one week. They successfully launched their reliable Falcon 9 rocket for the 16th time in a row, setting a record for consecutive launches by a booster. This achievement showcased the rocket's impressive reusability, proving that it can handle multiple flights without a hitch. The significance of this accomplishment cannot be overstated. It has propelled the Falcon 9 to the forefront of reusable orbital rockets, making it the pinnacle of success in this category. Not only did SpaceX break its own records, but it also pushed the boundaries of what was previously thought possible in the space industry. On July 15th, the Falcon 9 rocket, with booster tail number 1060, took off from Cape Canaveral's Space Launch Complex 40 on its mission to deploy 54 Starlink satellites into orbit. This launch was the second attempt, as it had been delayed by a day. After approximately eight and a half minutes from liftoff, booster 1060 achieved a successful landing on the unmanned drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas in the Atlantic Ocean. This impressive feat marked the 16th flight for this specific booster, tying a record for consecutive launches. Just a few days earlier, on July 9th, Booster 1058 had successfully launched 22 second-generation Starlink satellites on its 16th consecutive flight. As the Falcon 9 soared through the night sky, the sight of the bright lights forming a large V was nothing short of breathtaking. The achievement of launching a single booster, not just once or twice, but an incredible 16 times with boosters 1058 and 1060, has paved the way for exciting new possibilities for the Falcon rocket line. In May, William Gerstenmeyer, SpaceX's vice president of build and flight reliability, shared exciting news about the Falcon 9 booster. Engineers are working hard to certify it for a maximum of 20 flights, specifically for Starlink missions. This achievement will significantly enhance the reusability of boosters and allow for more frequent and cost-effective space missions. Looking ahead, SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, has set his sights even higher, expressing his ambitious goal of reusing boosters up to a hundred times. While reaching a hundred launches may not be guaranteed at this point, the progress made with the Falcon 9 so far suggests that achieving such a milestone in the future is not impossible. In the meantime, gradually increasing the target to 40 or 50 reusable launches seems to be entirely within reach. When it comes to reusability, Falcon 9 stands out as an unrivaled champion among all of its competitors. Even when compared to some of the most formidable rockets of the past, Falcon 9 shines. For example, Ariane 5 has an impressive launch count of 117 flights and a success rate of 96%, but it lacks reusability. Unlike Falcon 9, which can be used multiple times, Ariane 5's design allows it to be launched only once, which significantly increases its overall cost. As a result, Ariane 5 faces tough competition in the launch market, where the cost-effectiveness and reusability of Falcon 9 give it a distinct advantage. Similarly, the Soyuz rocket from Russia is not reusable either. One of the key factors contributing to Falcon 9's popularity is the continuous improvement in turnaround time. Over time, SpaceX has been able to decrease the time it takes to refurbish and prepare a Falcon 9 rocket for its next launch. Initially, this process used to take several months, but thanks to advancements and refinements in their reusability techniques, the turnaround time has been significantly reduced to less than a month. It's quite intriguing that Falcon 9's frequent launches have become so common that you almost forget it's happening. Phil Smith, a senior space analyst at Bryce Tech, humorously pointed out this boring aspect, which is actually a testament to the rocket's reliability and success. Despite Falcon 9's impressive achievements, the launch market has not remained stagnant. Several new rockets have entered the scene, posing challenges to SpaceX's dominance. 
Some of the notable competitors include ULA's Vulcan, Rocket Lab's Neutron, Relativity Space's Terran R, Firefly Aerospace's MLV, and Blue Origin's New Glenn. Among these, Rocket Lab has made a particularly significant advancement with its Neutron rocket. They are targeting a price point of around $50 million per launch, which is a substantial reduction compared to the current price of the Falcon 9. This competitive pricing strategy aims to attract customers looking for more cost-effective launch options. Rocket Lab's recent announcement to enhance the reusability of their Neutron rocket is a significant move to position it as a formidable competitor to the Falcon 9. They have ambitious plans to introduce rocket reusability technology by focusing on the initial stages of the spacecraft. However, it's essential to recognize that implementing rocket reusability technology is a complex process that requires time and thorough testing. Rocket Lab will need to demonstrate the effectiveness and reliability of its reusable approach through multiple successful reuse cycles before it can be considered a mature and proven technology. Until other companies can introduce a reusable medium-lift rocket like Falcon 9, SpaceX will continue to enjoy a dominant position in securing space launch contracts. Their reusability capability is indeed unparalleled and has set the benchmark for shaping the production of the next generation of rockets. When SpaceX first introduced the idea of landing such a large rocket on a floating platform, many people in the industry thought it was a crazy and far-fetched concept. However, after several years of experience with rocket landings, there is no doubt that the company's achievement in landing the Falcon 9 has been an enormous success. A significant milestone in the evolution of the Falcon 9 was achieved in 2018 when SpaceX introduced the new and enhanced Block 5 version of the rocket. This new version of the Falcon 9 incorporated several key improvements. Notably, the engine underwent enhancements to improve its efficiency and reliability. The heat shield was also upgraded to better withstand the intense conditions experienced during re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Another vital enhancement was made to the grid fins, which play a crucial role in guiding and stabilizing the rocket during its descent back to Earth. Improving the grid fins' design was aimed at enhancing their aerodynamic performance and precision during landing. Moreover, the landing legs, responsible for supporting and stabilizing the rocket upon touchdown, were also improved to withstand the stresses of multiple landings. The considerable number of successfully landed boosters over the years has provided SpaceX with a unique opportunity to conduct thorough analyses of each booster's performance. By retrieving and examining the boosters after each mission, the company can identify the specific components that undergo the most wear and tear during launch and re-entry. The act of reusing rockets also serves as a real-life stress test for the hardware. Launching and landing the same booster multiple times in various conditions provides valuable data that goes beyond computer simulations. The upgrades incorporated in the Block 5 variants of the Falcon 9 were primarily aimed at enhancing reusability, leading to more efficient and cost-effective operations. These improvements resulted in a reduced need for extensive refurbishment of the rocket between missions. Before the Block 5 version, the average turnaround time for a booster was as long as 356 days. However, with the enhancements introduced in the Block 5 version, the average turnaround time significantly decreased to 107 days. The fastest turnaround time achieved was an impressive 72 days, demonstrating the efficiency and reliability of the upgraded design. Currently, the record for the shortest turnaround time between two consecutive Falcon 9 launches stands at an astounding 21 days. While SpaceX has made impressive strides in reducing the turnaround time for the Falcon 9 booster, they do not necessarily require super-fast turnarounds. The company maintains a large fleet of boosters that are ready for flight, strategically positioned across the country and even internationally. However, SpaceX's long-term goal is to achieve a refurbishment time of just 24 hours. This would mean each rocket requires only a quick inspection and minor maintenance between flights, similar to the turnaround process of commercial airliners. The company has an impressive track record, but it remains to be seen if they can achieve even higher levels of reusability, or if the competition will finally catch up to them. What do you think? Can SpaceX achieve a refurbishment time of 24 hours? Do let us know in the comments below.